Alekine's defense, Scandinavian variation, 3.x5nxd54.bc4. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The Scandinavian defense immediately challenges the center by attacking the e4 pawn. The best move is x5, which widens the middle. If black captures on d5 with the queen, white will gleefully use nc3 to assault the queen. Nf6 develops the knight with the idea of recapturing the d5 pawn with the knight instead of the queen. Nc3 controls the e4 square and advances the knight toward the center. Nx d5 captures the pawn on d5 and attacks the knight on c3. Bc4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it attacks the knight on d5. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. Very precise. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. This is an equal trade. It is best. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. This passes up the chance of advance a passed pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This fails to take use of the chance to move a rook to safety. It is incorrect. This protects an underdefended rook that is under attack. It is excellent. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. 
This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the 7th rank, activating it. It is quite good. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Though not the best move technically, it was interesting. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. It was open season on that night. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This passes up a chance to acquire things. It is incorrect. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is quite good. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is excellent. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This avoids the bishop's check. It is ideal. This is the strongest option. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.